don't know about you guys, but I have an absurd amount of clothing in my wardrobe that I don't wear. And today I'm going to flip some of those things into things that maybe I'll wear a bit more often. And I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Okay, so diving right into these flips, I want to do something with this pink Uniqlo t-shirt, which is basically the same one as the green one that I have on, but just not cropped. I don't really wear this top much, so I want to transform it into a sleeveless cropped top with a bit of a twist in the front. To do that, I'm starting off by cutting off the sleeves and around the neckline, as well as opening up the whole thing at the side seams and shoulder seams so that I have a front piece and a back piece to work with. Using my tape measure, I measured where the green cropped t-shirt is landing, which got me 13 inches, so I added another inch to get 14. And then I measured that on the pink one and I cut off the bottom part of the top, just to get me started. Then I got out my white tank top that's a bit old and I used this for self-drafting because it has a nice neckline. So I marked the center line of the v-neck as well as the shoulder width because it's a bit skinnier than what I had. And here I am showing you the concept of the twist in the front and I decided to take a bit off the bottom at an angle to give a bit less fabric so a better shape to the twist. Then on the back I'm just tidying up the old seams and then cutting off the excess on the shoulders and the side seams so the front and back pieces match up. Then to test out the fit, I'm clipping it all together so I can try it on before I start to sew anything. The side seams are still a bit long, so I took a bit more off the bottom on the front and the back before I stitch it together. I wanted to finish off the raw edges before I stitched it all together but I don't have a walking foot so this ended up a bit too lettuce -y for me. I don't think that worked very well. Hmm gonna have to figure out a different way. I'm not too much of a fan of rabbit food so I just snipped that off and decided to leave the edges raw until such time as I have another way to finish it off. And then I stitched the shoulder and side seams together and this is how it ended up looking. For the next flip, I'm taking this dress that I made literally about a decade ago and I want to transform it into a skirt. The fit has never been very good on this dress around the bum and it's not a piece I reach for very much at all and so I want to make it into something that I actually do wear. So first up I'm going to take out the zipper and save it so maybe I can use it in a future project. And then I'm using this skirt that I thrifted in Amsterdam as a guide. It has a vent in the back seam and it fits really well. So it's a decent starting point because the dress also has a vent in the hem at the back. So I'm marking out where to cut for the new waistband and I'm going to use some magnets on my scissors to just quickly add the seam allowance without having to make a second measurement. Trying it on, it looks decent, but I need a way to finish the waist. 
and I couldn't get a neat piece for an exposed waistband so I decided to mark out a facing piece just from where I already cut off the dress and I just cut that off. I can't remember what the measurement was. I think it was like two and a half inches or something. And as with any waistband or waistband facing piece, I'm gonna interface it so that it has a little bit more stability and rigidity while it's holding the skirt up, you know? I cracked out the overlocker to finish off that raw edge, as well as overlock some other raw edges that I definitely hadn't finished off when I made this dress originally because, I don't know, I was just lazy, I guess. And then I hastily attached the waistband facing piece and you'll witness me regretting that in about three seconds. I couldn't really figure out when I should put the zipper in, so I consulted some trouser pattern instructions and realized that I'd kind of done it out of order. The zipper should have gone in before the facing piece. Not to worry though, I decided to crack on with a new zipper. I don't have an invisible zipper foot, so I just use my buttonhole foot because I find the little guide on the back does a pretty good job of holding open the invisible zipper teeth in the right way. And I managed to get the zipper in pretty well on the first go, which I feel is a new achievement for me considering I usually always stuff that up. And then the last step was to do a bit of a uh, understitch and then I did a slip stitch to tack the facing down to the zipper tape. The fit was all right, but I actually ended up taking the side seams in just a little bit because it was a little bit loose, which I also live to regret. Stay tuned. I was highly ambitious thinking I could get this done all in one day. So this is the next morning, making coffee and trying to find more energy to finish off the third flip because I was committed to doing three flips for this video. This dress I got from Tree of Life for about $10 and it's never fit me very well, but I love the color and the lace details though, so I want to keep all of that. There was so much noise going on while I was trying to sketch that I almost totally cracked. I don't know if it's just that I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to get a lot done today or that there's just so much noise outside but I'm not having a good time. Um, I think I'm just gonna try and try and just sew some stuff and record a voiceover later. I just don't know if I have the energy to like talk my way through everything as I'm doing it. <sighs> I really have a lot, of, a lot of pressure on myself today. And yeah, and all of this noise is really, really, really setting me off. Yesterday was also really noisy. There was so much noise happening outside and I just couldn't really find an escape. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna turn the microphone off and I'm gonna just go and do some sewing and I'm gonna talk you guys through it all. Sorry that I can't like talk and sew at the same time today. I hope you guys understand. Just like with the pink t-shirt, I'm starting by taking this dress apart at the side seams. The idea is to make it into a top with a tie that goes around the back that's attached at the side seam. So you can tie it at the back or the front, I guess. I measured the length roughly and then I just started cutting. Sometimes you just gotta switch your brain off and go for it, you know? Then with the leftover skirt portion, I want to make some wide ties that will attach at the side seams and have a bit of a tapered end. 
I'm taking these wide strips, folding them over, tapering the end, and then just stitching it and leaving one end open where it's going to touch at the side seams. So I can trim off the excess and then turn it out the right way before I attach it. I figured out how to make the French seam work. So I've got my wrong sides together for the front and the back, and then I've got my tie. With the front piece, I want that seam to land just under where that existing bust line is. And then when I fold it over and do the, do the second half of the French seam, it'll all be encased. And then I just have to do the hem and then it'll be done. Yay. I raced through the French seams and it turned out really well, if I do say so myself. And here is flip number one. What do you think? The pink top is something I'll probably just wear around the house while I'm doing projects. And the yellow skirt is probably gonna be something that I'm gonna wear to work. Although for the skirt, I do regret not getting a slightly longer zipper because there isn't enough space for my bum. So I have to slip it over my head to get it on, which is a bit of a pain, but oh well. And it goes perfectly with this mustard shirt I thrifted in Japan. And the green top is another casual thing that I'll definitely wear more often than when it was a dress. I didn't have a matching thread though, so I haven't finished off the hem. I will get around to it sometime. Also, I'm pretty stoked because the skirt and the green top could also go together as an outfit, which is pretty great because when they were both dresses, I wouldn't have had the chance to wear these things at the same time. Wow. Thank you for being here and I'll see you guys next week. I'm gonna be reorganizing my wardrobe so you can see everything that's in there. Thank you. Bye.